We start with peanuts. While peanut growers have seen incredible yields over the past few years, researchers at UGA are still pushing to develop new varieties for the farmers. And one such variety has captured the attention of America's top candy company. Damon Jones has that story. Like many consumers, you've all seen those Snicker bars or packets of M&Ms in vending machines or on store shelves. And one of the main ingredients in both is, of course, the peanut. And with some of these products sitting on shelves for months at a time, candy companies are looking for ways to keep their goods fresher longer. And that's why they're pushing peanut producers to plant high oleic varieties, which have less linoleic oil. That, in turn, pushes their expiration date back. The higher quality oil will tend to give that peanut a longer shelf life. And that is why the candy companies and candy manufacturers really would like for the peanut industry to move in that direction. In fact, the Mars company hopes to use exclusively high oleic peanuts within the next few years, as they've shown to extend shelf life for up to an additional 30 weeks. However, that might be easier said than done. I think if they could do it by 2017, but it's going to take some time to get the varieties and the peanut seed, because you start off with a foundation seed, you move to registered, and then you move to certified. And these peanuts have to be grown under the Georgia Crop Improvement Association, be certified in the field, it's going to take a little time, so 2017 is a short time for us. Georgia farmers have also been apprehensive to change, as less than 10 percent of the crop is of the high oleic variety. And a big reason for that is despite closing the yield gap between the two varieties, one does still exist. Uh, we had several this year make over 8,000 pounds per acre, and so we want to see that in a high oleic. We want to see that yield potential in order for a grower to say, okay, I'll plant that. Um, and, and when it comes down to it, that's, that's what makes this all work is yield potential. Another potential problem is at the buying point, as these different varieties must be carefully separated to give the manufacturing company a pure product. Normally, if you've got all one variety, it's no problem. You can keep all the peanuts in the same bin and this type of thing, but all of a sudden you get a load of high oleic, you've got to logistically move it to a different location, and you've got to store it different, uh, got to go to a different warehouse and a, maybe it's a long time away off from the buying point. However, despite the difficulties, having a high oleic variety that can challenge the yield of O6G could be a game changer for the peanut industry. If we could ever get to a point where we had multiple varieties that yielded all the same but had, you know, maturity differences or they had uh, select disease resistance uh, characteristics different from one another and so we could actually help ourselves by having two or three varieties that have equal amount of the market share. Some of the new varieties coming out are going to be a little bit smaller than O6G and if we can still yield the same as O6G we could potentially cut some of our seed input cost um, by 10 to 20 dollars per acre so there are some things that we can do as we approach the next several years uh, to actually build in some security. Reporting from Tifton, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.